I've been fired before. Hey, hey. Can we stop? Can we stop? The link is already in the video. Hey, uh, hey, don't hey, break hey. my phone. Oh, All right. Nice. Hey. Hey. I hope I hope this Wi-Fi is good. This is an excellent connection, so that's good. Um, hey, Bab streamers, uh, and hey everybody here. Uh, we are sorry for the delay. We had every single technical issue possible, including uh, machines that could, that updated, so the software was up, not up to date, and then the new software not uh, being able to recognize the old microphone. So uh, so we have a, a lone computer with a lone setup. So thank you very much. Uh, Nathan, right? Yeah, Nathan. Nathan. Uh, he's awesome. Go, ha go in front and wave to the camera. He deserves it. Hi. Oh, I'll leave now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yay. That's my boy. Alrighty. Hi, we're here. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, can the so uh, I see that we are there's like maybe a ten second delay on the camera. Uh, can our bad streamers please let us know if you can hear? Do, 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 do. Or someone in the room can. We had all your orders running. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. I can hear. I mean, I can hear on the. Screen. You can hear on the screen. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yay. Just we have to talk a little loud. That's all. Okay. Okay. Um, is it possible to turn up the gain on the? Uh, on the thing? Possibly on the. I don't know this microphone very well. I feel okay. like there should Just be a button. Volume. Uh, Not sure if that did anything. Okay. Right, cool. We'll just like we'll just speak louder. That'll be fine. Cool. So welcome to the December meeting. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we have some new faces in the room, uh, but if we wanted to uh, quickly, I know you guys already did this uh, when we were here, like an hour, two hours ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, but if we all uh, wanted to quickly uh, go through and just say hi, who you are, so that we know, especially the new people. Um, so let's do it. Uh, where's OBS? Hold on, I'm like, there we go. Right, here we go. You got wide angle. Let's start this way. What's up? Hi. Oh, hey there. Uh, I'm Alex. I'm the head of VIP relations. Uh, pretty much helping all of the uh, VIPs, guests of honor that we invite uh, to BabsCon have the best experience possible because it's not just. Uh, having them meet all of our attendees. It's also about them enjoying the, their time here uh, in this in the hotel and also in the city overall. Um, right now, looking looking for more staffers. So if you uh, think you're worthy, uh, it's not it's not that intimidating of a department because uh, I'll help you all the way through it. But if you think you're up to it and you you like to have that ambition, uh, put in an application, and I'd love to have you. Excellent. Uh, before we continue, I'm going to double check that everything's good because the stream's yelling at me. And I didn't see what's going on. Oh, now it. it oh, cool. Hold up. Oh, oh, oh. What's it yelling at you about? Oh, it's just on the data. So it should be data. Right, well, it's on. I don't have a lot of It's working on YouTube. Yeah, it's right. on YouTube. Well, it's working. Hey, we are on a two second. Okay, cool. It seems to be working. That's cool. All right, I'm going to trust it. Um, we are lagging a bit. Um, yeah, yeah, no, we, yeah, we, we always lag a bit. It's about a 10 second delay. No, <laughs> it's not. Far it's far hotel Wi-Fi. Right 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 Who are y'all be? I know. I wish my mouse had grip on here. I'll let it That's right. All right, uh, go. I have a day's fall. Otherwise, I'll just pass on the health and Hello, I'm Athena. I'm HR lead. Hi. I'm Sean, uh, convention support uh, lead. All the way in the back. My uh, name's Ryan. I'm on the side panel staff. Cool. Two in the back there. Or no, there's one behind you. Here. Hey. Speak Ryan. up. <laughs> Speak up because the microphone's really here. Ryan. Cool. What do you do? Nothing yet? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I can't wait to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You too. Uh, Scott, um, ball, ball, um, Veteran volunteer still has an application, but we'll put that out soon. Excellent. Um, Steven, um, completely new to this, uh, fill out my application, but still waiting, still waiting. Excellent, thank you. You won't have to wait any longer. Jessica Conbrook, uh, I have to leave uh, now, so just okay. if anybody has anything that needs to go to Conbrook, uh, email at babscon.com right now. Right now. Come 
book at babstown.com. If you need something in the comic book, get it in there. And if it's not in there, it's because you know what. Okay, so, <laughs> punish. I'm, I'm Fawn, I'm the design director slash helping the theatrics. Ooh, yay. <laughs> I just, uh, if, you're, if you're interested in theatrics, or if you know anything about working in theater, we're looking for people. I am our head of tabletop, a department that badly needs new members. Whereas, by the way, if you would like to run tabletop games, or if you would like to volunteer at Trixie's Tables, uh, please talk to me or go to the, the BabsCon website and sign up. Thank you. Excellent. Mosin over here. Oh, up? yeah. Mosin, uh, uh, as I said earlier. Um, uh, I am vice chair. I am his yang to his yang to his puppy to his dog. Whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it's great to have you guys all here. Uh, as I said, this is uh, actually a pretty good turnout for the first meeting. Um, this is usually like four or five meeting turnout. So this is really good. Good. Great. Let's let's do it. Raw team. Excellent. And then over here on the tables. Hi. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who I am, you're probably in the wrong place. No. Um, I'm Sophie. I'm uh, head of business. I'm also helping out with theme. Uh, and I also work under Nan, uh, specifically acting as the liaison and coordinator for the Brody Shaft and Yellow Vets, which we are doing again this year. Yay. So those are my three hats that I'm currently wearing, but I help out pretty much wherever I can. Nice. Sonia. Hi, I'm Sonia. I was an idiot that started the convention. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever do that. Uh, currently, I'm still on the board and in charge of guest uh, procurement. So that means I, I find them, take them, uh, take them out of their packaging, and therefore destroy their collectible value. <laughs> I'm Rebecca, and I'm a co-founder and a board member, and I'm working registration. Nice. <laughs> Hello, my name is Fable Charm. I'm the chair of the convention. Um, th uh, thank you guys all for helping out and for being on the live stream, for being here. Uh, it is the staff of BevsCon that makes BevsCon happen. Uh, without you guys, we wouldn't have a con. Um, so we need more of you guys, so we can have more of a con. So please, uh, please sign up. Uh, we have excellent perks like free food every day. Free food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know, it's the best. Free food. It's the best perk of Free good con. food. Free good food, legit, like hot dogs and Actual food. And spaghetti and meatballs. Um, Eat food with lunch. Uh, you also get swag, bad swag, discount on awesome merch, like with all the merch over there. Uh, and much, much more. A lot of camaraderie. Uh, also, if you have skills that you want to develop or to learn, uh, a convention is a great way to do that. Um, things that I've learned in the last few years are things like how to do marketing and use marketing software. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a computer scientist, I'm a computer programmer by trade, um, but I've always sort of wanted to do more like the advertising kind of thing or like developing that kind of stuff. Um, so it's been really fun. Uh, I also did HR before and I've never, I, like two, like four years ago, um, but I had never done that sort of thing before, but just being able to jump in um, and learn made it so that now I have all these skills that are super marketable, put on my resume. So if you want skills to put on your resume, or if you just want to do things that you always wanted to do, like I'm, in, I'm well, this is a really bad example, but uh, I'm in charge of the live streams for the, for the meetings, but this time it didn't work out, but we have backup, so that's always a good thing to learn too, is always to make backup, so thank you for the backup. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so if you want to learn really cool skills, uh, that's kind of a great way to do that in a, a low, a low, uh, low risk environment. Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, please, please volunteer for us. Please, 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 very much. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into just like updates. Uh, I may or may not move the camera. This was really weird to do. So. <laughs> Let's see. Um, who wants to go first? Anyone? Anyone in particular? Or we just like go in the same order? Do we do Alex and and so on? So you guys have to go. Well, why don't uh, why don't we come back?
back around to me at the end. And okay. Let's start with y'all. Sounds good. By the way, let me double check if there's any questions. If there's any questions yeah. on the live stream, please let us know. Uh, blah, 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 Freddie Mercury. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Mattia, Mattia Esgar says uh, that she is the staff feed lead. Please let them know if there's anything you want for snacks in particular. Uh, we are, they are still looking for staff. Uh, please contact um, them or go to BabsCon website and submit an application. Yay. That would be under, if you want to work on staff feed, it's, that's under hospitality. And you so get more food. Yeah, and you because, get more food because you're the one. Because making. you make it. <laughs> <laughs> you can Don't eat your fill eat of all the food you make yourself. <laughs> Ready? Uh, I guess we can start off here with uh, with HR, right? Hello. What up? <laughs> Still HR. Um, so as of today, we have 217 applicants. Uh, 168 have been accepted. So department to need staff. So there's four available that you could be sorting through and contacting yes. via email or whatever methods you choose. If you need any staffing help or have any questions, let me know. HR at bashcon.com or on the Slack. Sweet. Uh, Atlas? Yes. No, we have time. Okay, we're shy. Um, I don't really have any updates for the departments um, uh, other than um, what Tia said of Staffy that they are looking for staff. She wants to have at least 25 people to staff between hospitality and Common Cove. So apply for that department if you want a uh, little bit of versatility, switching me back back and forth between the two. It's pretty interesting work. Um, logistics is pretty full for people. So right now we're gonna hold off on uh, staffing. Con support does need some people. Um, so please apply for that. Um, if you're interested in uh, doing dispatch work or you know interacting with uh, the attendees and being a a kind of point of contact for the convention. Um, department wise, uh, on Discord, we've started uh, a Patreon interest channel uh, for to discuss the possibility of BabsCon having a Patreon. And we've been pretty much uh, are pretty excited. We've gotten a lot of good suggestions from a lot of uh, staff and attendees that are there. Um, a lot of good ideas. Um, it's something that, you know, we can hope make a possibility to kind of um, get some kind of year-round sponsors, you know, continuous sponsors to kind of help pay, pay the bills for us, like in between the conventions. Um, and once we get a good enough list together, we can bring it to the rest of the exec staff and maybe see about what we can offer and maybe getting it implemented and it seems like a pretty straightforward process it just kind of needs a parent company to kind of maintain it over the over the cycle um, other than that uh, got I mean uh, uh, if you pan around the room is wonder why there's all these old convention signs here. Um, basically, these are signs that we're not going to use anymore. So, if people are interested in any of them, you can grab them and give them a good home. Um, or reach out on Slack or Discord or whatever. If you see one, then we can throw it off to the side for you and uh, pick it up at the convention. But Basically, we just uh, eliminated a lot of uh, extra Ooh, signage that we sign don't up. need. Um, <laughs> other than that, that's about it. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. You're taking your coffee chip sign? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyone back here want to give Please department updates more. or have department updates to give? 
and I need one more. I have one, I, I need one more. Um, I potentially have a second one if we're not going to use that individual for theme, um, but we'll see. Like that's, I don't know, I haven't looked at the casting yet. Philip's not gonna help you with that. Huh? I said Philip's not gonna help you out with that again this year. Uh, he might, I don't know. Um, but like I, his name hasn't been brought to me directly, so, um, and I have to kind of plan this in advance this time. Like it can't be, like it can't just be me and the chef, yeah. like it was last year. Right. Uh, mostly because we do have to make sure that everything gets cleaned and everything gets put away, because that room is actually also being used for other things for events and programming this year. Which means, you know, it has to be broken down and cleaned up before that next event. Um, yeah. And that's what I got. Like, I've been kind of low key in the background, just kind of keeping an eye on things. So, um, I'm actually pleased at our pre reg this year so far. Yeah. I'd like more, but we, we've made, um, just since we're talking about Black Friday, uh, so our Black Friday deal, hold on, where are we? Our Black Friday deal, if you're coming to BadsCon, uh, Black Friday is the time to get your badges. Uh, everything is 15% off, every single badge. Um, we have sold a lot. Uh, there are, I think, um, we put up like numbers on our Facebook page about how many we've had left on them. Uh, but basically we have like less than 10 of every higher tier badge above Crystal, Noble, and Galactic. I can give exact numbers. Give exact numbers. We have four Galactics left. Four Galactics four. left. Six Nobles left. Six Nobles left. And only eight Crystals. Nice. And so uh, please, uh, please buy stuff. No, but um, but if you're wanting, if you're wanting one of those higher tier badges, uh, they usually do sell out um, either by the end of um, the Black Friday or by like December because it's like Christmas time. Um, so if you really want uh, one of those higher tier badges, please buy us some now. Uh, if you're worried about uh, the priciness of it, we also do um, payment payment options for the higher tier ones. For the higher tiers, so uh, if you're interested in getting one of our Galactic or Noble badges, um, please uh, let us know, and we can figure out a way uh, to make it work with your schedule. Um, do we uh, also straight up, uh, at least compared to last year, um, the Friday, the amount of money that we've generated from uh, Black Friday. Uh, broke last year's record. So that's actually really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm really happy about that. Um, the we, we also upped the number of Galactics. Oh yeah, totally. Um, so so something that I kind of wanted to just say, like as the chair of the con, um, that also like helping out with the business side and helping out with other things and the merch side, um, if, not just for Bascom, but for any con, if you, like, you know you're gonna go, uh, it's always better, at least for the con. Uh, if you want to support the con fully, uh, earlier buying a badge earlier is always better. Um, people that buy the badge like at con, let's say, um, that's great, uh, and we can use the money for next year. Uh, but the for this year, uh, we're spending money now. Like we're getting the guests of honors now. We are we are you know we're paying for all the really really cool things. We're paying for the awesome sponsor chair merch. We're paying for the awesome uh, uh, attending merch. Uh, you know, any sort of new things that we're trying to do uh, requires money. Uh, so the sooner that people buy their badges, uh, the better. Um, so, and that's, and I'm not saying like, oh, buy your badges now or whatever, like do it whenever you can, uh, but just like as an FYI to attendees, because I sort of didn't really think about this until this year when I'm like in charge. <laughs> uh, more money sooner is always better because then we can deliver more things um, you know, because you can't, you can't like, you know, anyway, you get what I'm saying. The earlier the better. Uh, Sonia, do you have any updates? I do. So, uh, as y'all might have seen uh, that we announced on Black Friday to help juice those sales up, we announced the return of Daniel Ingram to our oh, club. Yes. And for those not in the know, Daniel is the composer of the songs, all, all. songs. Uh, for the show, for Equestria Girls, no. um, to the movie. movie. Well, for, in, in, fact, in fact, close enough to all the songs, might it all be all the dance songs. Yeah. Um, I mean, the ones that weren't done by Sia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so that brings our announced count up to five. We have 
Uh, two more in the pipeline for December, both of whom come to us from the IDW Comics side of things. Uh, season 10. Season 10. That's, yeah, those are the folks bringing you Season 10. Coming Coming in. Season, is in, season 10 is in the comics. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, um, and uh, there, you know, that's probably not the end of Guests of Honor. I mean, you know, only seven guests at BabsCon? No, 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 no. Sure, we, have you met us? <laughs> yeah, we, we have like a, 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 a quite a bit of guests coming. Anyway, um, I don't want to tip my hand too much, but at this point, that's where we're at. We got some, so we do have, we've made some great announcements. I'm very pleased, uh, and some very unconventional ones. So I'm also very pleased about that. I mean, we have Nicole Oliver coming back. Woo uh, we have Peter New coming back. It's been a while since we've seen, since we've seen him. Uh, but the ones that I'm kind of proud of are, you know, even though she only did one episode as, as sort of a superstar guest writer, she is a goddess of American comic books, Gail Simone. And if you haven't read her, her Twitter feed, go read her Twitter feed. She single-handedly justifies the existence of the, of the platform. <laughs> she does. She really, really does. Uh, and then, of course, our first ever, oh my god, gas, <gasps> not on the show guest, Greg Bravo. Wild Griffin, who at the same time is so close to Pony, she might as well be on the show. I mean, she's worked with, with Tara, Laura, and Mitch, and other folks so damn often that it's really kind of an oversight that she wasn't on the show. <laughs> and she did provide the voice of Derpy on that one fan animation, which is kind of funny. Anyway. That's so, a great time. Yep, yep, yep. Look it up. It's hilarious. Derpy doesn't get a muffin. It goes poorly. So, yeah. Um, that said, we obviously, as usual, have a hard time finding the qualified and um, just professional level folks that we need for our department because, you know, not to sound all snooty about it, but we, 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 need, we need elite folks to be able to work with the guests. Folks who ain't gonna fanboy or fangirl out, folks who can do their thing, and I'm gonna leave it to Alex to talk more about that, because he's got the 411. Oh, hey there. I'm like I'm a guy from earlier before they did that whole one yeah. of thing. Um, yeah, so uh, if you didn't hear it earlier, uh, VIP relations can be uh, a bit of Pretty ambitious for some people, but I uh, ask that you not be intimidated by it. Uh, it's pretty easygoing. Pretty much all the uh, VIPs are really easygoing. Uh, and they don't really ask for much, but there is certain there are certain things that we do need to provide for them. And uh, you have a great support system from myself and from my second Austin. Uh, he's not here because. He works really hard all the time, but he is like, he's like really big on helping everyone to get uh, everyone uh, at their at the top of their game. Um, but really, yeah, really, we just really need uh, the staffing people. Uh, we have people who work in the green room, uh, helping keeping food stocked and uh, making sure the VIPs are having nice, relaxing times when they're not down here in the con. Uh, we have people who run the autograph room, you know, organizing and uh, directing people into certain lines to getting autographs. Uh, we have drivers uh, who will be driving our rented vehicles uh, to transport our VIPs to various locations. Usually it's just from their hotel to here, but oftentimes I like to go into the city, so uh, I guess thing is uh, city driving is a must if you're going to apply to that uh, and then uh, possibly the most important uh, position is the liaisons or handlers or assistants or what have you uh, they will be assisting individually the VIPs through the convention uh, that can be kind of daunting for some people but uh, I will help you all the way through it. Uh, that is where I started out in conventions, and it can be very rewarding. Um, really, any of these positions can be very rewarding because you're helping not just 
the convention, but you're also helping these people who are coming out from Canada or from Los Angeles um, and giving them the best experience they can have in just a short three-day weekend. So uh, I encourage you, if you're worthy, um, <laughs> I don't want to say it like that, but we, we do have a hammer mm -hmm. to test that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, we don't sold it. I, ha I have access to it because my friend bought it. Anyway, so. um, <laughs> if, you're up, if you're up for it, I'll say it like that. If you're up for it, please send an application. I would love to have you in the VIP relations team. Yeah, Excellent. Those. You mentioned that you um, you started uh, off yeah. doing what, you said? Oh, yeah. Uh, 2000, BabsCon 2015, uh, I started out as a VIP liaison. Uh, first convention job I ever had. And now you are what's your position? I am the head of it. I mean, and look at what you're wearing. I know, look right? Look at that. He's in a suit. Yeah, well, he's got his, his rainbow nice. dash tie. Yep. From look up, show off for the camera. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So ignore, ignore my little tie. If this is not the, uh, the epitome of a successful so run of BabsCon, this could be you. Um, this could be you. He's just dressing good. Yeah. But it never be said that a position in BabsCon does not have growth potential. Yep. That's right. Exactly. That's yeah, right. Just don't take my position. <laughs> we we have tripled this man's pay. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> zero, let me tell you, zero times three, man. For the IRS watching the live stream, uh, we don't pay anybody, we're a volunteer organization. <laughs> yes, we are we are completely a volunteer organization. one C three. Oh yeah. Uh cool. Any other updates or questions for VIPR? Actually, I have a question for VIPR. What? Uh, what? Should Should we plug the thing that we did last Friday? Oh, that Still thing. One. Do you think we should? Yeah, why not? Well, that's that's not really yeah, a question for VIPR. Know. It's more of a question for no. Well, it's me and you. That's why I'm asking you. I guess it's technically VIPR. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, uh, Fable and I were on the for what it's worth. Um, Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. For what it's worth, F U R, it's a furry podcast. With uh, <laughs> with our very own guest of honor, spelled with a U because he's Canadian. Yep. Uh, Peter New. Yeah. yeah. And it was a pretty funny episode. We uh, we bounced off each other pretty well, and we learned the proper pronunciation of of, of the name of his audio uh, oh, audio geez. comedy. Wifferfall. Voyage. Voyage of the Wifferfall. Wifferfall. Yes, it, it looks like it's pronounced overwall, but yeah. no, it's Wifferfall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something so, to note about that podcast is that it is very much 18 plus. What? 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 kids. There's kids doing it. Anyway, so uh, something to note about the podcast that we were on is that uh, it's very, it's like a, it's a free podcast. Um, our, our, um, our old marketing director, Tuggs, uh, is the one who runs it. Uh, so go to fur, furwhatitsworth.com or just like search for it. The episode is titled, uh, Friendship is Over. Uh, it is about the end of the My Little Pony show and how the fandom plans to move on. Um, and so it's it's me and Sonia and, uh, and Peter New. And we have some like really funny, um, really interesting things to say. Uh, they, we talk about both like the, the the well-known side of the fandom and like the the darker side of the fandom. Oh. Uh, so it's very much it's very much I guess eighteen plus. I don't know like yeah, it's not not safe. It's it's it is not safe for work. It is like the first ten minutes you'll know whether it's safe for work or not. Like whether it's for you. Um, uh, what was I gonna say about that too? We also have like a an a yup and a nope contest. Uh, it is really great. So I don't want to give the rest of it away, but um, please watch it. It's for what it's worth. Friendship is over. Um, but spoiler alert, it's not really over. So. <laughs> um, do you have any updates? I do not. All right. I have a bunch of updates. Let me just set the camera up so I don't have to hold it at myself. Let's see if I can close off. How does the camera work? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, babe. Feels like I'm going to be All right. Do you want to say anything to the camera before you go? Uh, no. No, everything's going great. Okay, you guys, cool. super proud of you. All doing really terrific. And I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Go, team. That's yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Babscon. We need like a Babscon rally cry. <laughs> <laughs>
We oh, have, yeah. We have like oh, hey, yeah, I do want to emphasize back. one thing, though. Yes. Uh, especially for <laughs> department heads and execs, I want to re-emphasize the fact that HR has the people you need. You do not have to go knocking on doors like a Jehovah Witness. Okay? <laughs> Contact these people and get your staff yes. up. All right? You do not know what's going to happen next day, next week, next month. You may lose a member, staff member. You may... You know, may gain one. We really need you guys to build your staff up. So please, let's get that done, hopefully, before the new year starts. Thanks. Excellent. HR, thank you. Yay. <laughs> Bye. 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 You'll probably never see this because I. I'm sure he doesn't really rewatch the live streams after we've done it, but uh, Bozen is a super great vice chair. I love him very much. He's my rock, so thank you, Bozen. So my message to the to the world about him. Anyway, I'm gonna tell Bozen you said so, that. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell. If you can watch, find the timestamp for. I'm gonna tell him to watch back gonna, this because sure. you watch that. That'll be good. All right, so I've got some updates from vendors. Uh, I'm just gonna read it verbatim. Hello, everybody. This is Vendors and Merch Department. Uh, there's, uh, there's been a lot of fun and exciting things happening in our department right now. For starters, today is the day notifications will be going out uh, for those who applied for vendor hall tables. Whether you applied or know somebody that applied, keep an eye on your inbox for a notification about the vendor hall. We had 108 unique applications this year uh, from all different means from, from all different means, from conventions, jewelers, plush makers, and of course, your favorite artists. Uh, thank you to all those who applied or who spread the word about our vendor hall application. If you have any questions uh, or are interested in um, working merchandise or vendor hall, uh, and that includes, uh, that includes our, um, includes like things that we have, like our physical, physical goods and also uh, online store stuff, uh, please contact uh, Stefan directly uh, or email vendors at babscon.com uh, if you're interested in a position like that. We also have updates from events and programming. We have a lot of them. Uh, so events and programming is, uh, is uh, going above and beyond this year. We're Babs going to be on and they're really taking that to heart. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to kind of like read things that they say. Uh, so, uh, real quick, staffing needs. Uh, cosplay lead and staff. I know that there has been a cosplay lead uh, person yeah. uh, in the last week or so. Um, so that's great. Uh, so we will that they've applied and we'll see. But if you want uh, the cosplay lead position, better uh, step on your game because we're looking at someone right now. Uh, cosplay lead and staff. Uh, ideally, we'd have about four, four of those. Um, tabletop staff, like Elliot said, uh, uh, we need four. Um, programming staff, uh, we need like three. Uh, uh, specialty programming staff, two. Uh, I am assuming that is um, specialty things like the, uh, uh, what's it called? Your thing. The Brony Chef. The Brony thing. Chef. Uh, yeah. Also some for Silver Spring Salon. Yep. Uh, also things, I'm sure we... $100 panels, maybe? What? $100 panels. Oh yeah, maybe the hundred dollar panel. Um, yeah, we have we have special uh, special panel rooms here um, uh, for for people who want uh, an extended extended time, extended space, um, an extended uh, or at least like lesser restrictions on on what what a panel needs to be. Anyway, don't worry. Uh, so we need stuff for that. <laughs> we also have uh, charity staff. We need charity staff rather. Uh, ideally, we would have four of them. Uh, and what charity staff does is they uh, we have a charity room where a bunch of the uh, what's it called a bunch of the donations are so just make sure that nobody's like stealing anything. Uh, but then also we need people to help out with the uh, silent both the silent auction and the live auction. Uh, there will also be events happening involving our charities, uh, so helping them out with that, making sure the tables are set up, making sure that they have everything they need. Um, that'll also be part of that position. Cool. Department highlights, arcade. There, uh, uh, there are two tournaments again this year. Uh, arcade will be open Friday and Saturday of the convention, and the the finals of the tournament will be Saturday evening in the main hall. 
Ooh, we did woo. that super impromptu last time, uh, but we loved it so much that we're going to do it for realsies this time. Uh, charity. So, uh, for charity updates, uh, charity guests are confirmed for sponsor reception on day zero. Uh, charity donation form is live on the website. So if you want to donate your items or, or um, to the silent auction or the live auction, uh, please go to our website, babscon.com, uh, and you will find uh, links to the charity uh, submission form. Charity, plans to, charity team plans to host uh, a party on the party floor on Friday and Sunday nights. That's going to be exciting. Uh, for people that don't know, Babscon has a party floor where uh, basically every single, not every single room, but like most rooms, get turned into a, uh, a big party where people often uh, have drinks and things. Uh, the drinks are free because you can't sell them, but make sure to tip your bartender. Uh, the people that are hosting those parties bring all the booze and they bring all their stuff. Uh, so it's all it's all them, so be sure to tip um, to let them know that you appreciate them and also so they come back next year to give you more free booze. Cosplay, the theme, the theme for this year for cosplay is uh, everybody is a cosplay body. Uh, it will not be a contest. Uh, we will set up photo ops, meetups, and possibly some other cosplay and fursuit involved opportunities. Uh, our cosplay guests will host panels, and uh, our cosplay repair and headless lounge will be up and open throughout the convention. So that is exciting. We are uh, making some changes to how the cosplay stuff is done this year, um, and it's looking really good. Children's programming in the poolside pavilion. We still need uh, a few staff people for that. Uh, we are going to, we're gonna, the plan is to create a balance of programming around guests of honor appearances in the program, um, as well as other events. Uh, Actually, like, okay, don't, do okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, uh, 50 scheduled guests to be at the convention. Uh, that's going to be great. Please make our community guests feel welcome and help them wherever you can, wherever you can at the convention. Uh, they bring a great deal of personality and programming to the convention at uh, very little to no cost to us. Yeah. Great. Nahum. Uh, the leads of Nahum this year are Pinkaboo and Luck Rock. And they have an amazing show planned for both Friday night and Saturday night after, and for Friday night and then Saturday night after the tournaments. Uh, the first announcements for the musicians are almost ready, uh, so look for them uh, by the end of this week. Ooh. Exciting. Private panels. Uh, these are the these are the private panels that we were talking about earlier. Of the four spaces set aside for late night eighteen plus. Uh, panels, three have been sold, uh, so there's one more left. These will be listed as private events in the schedule. Uh, if you want your own private event, your, um, your very own private panel, please email events at babscon.com and we will get you set up. Panel panels. Uh, panels, panel applications close this evening, uh, so please get on there. Uh, there are over 120 submissions. Uh, we will be sorting them in the next month. Uh, so, yeah, wow, that's a lot. So thank you for sending out your panel applications. If you have some panel that you want to do, send it today. Send it in the next 24 hours. Renegade stage. Uh, this is your chance to do it. Uh, and the exclusionary aspect where it's like it can be your friends or it can be your friends plus some of the public. Um, that is super exciting that's as well. That's already up. Mm -hmm. Great. It's it's already up. Uh, there should be a post about it. I don't know if it's on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Um, but we. Okay. I didn't do those. Oh, yeah, I, I did this one. Contributing to the to that. Thank you. Uh, so we'll have a post up soon, or it might already be up. <laughs> Specialty programming and workshops. Uh, Brony Chef will again be preparing and serving meals all three days. Look for the menus and ticket purchase options to be live on the website in the next day or so. Uh, proceeds of that, uh, 
go to charity. Josh Scorcher, uh, one of our lovely community guests, will be DMing and debuting a D&D adventure located in San Francisco and featuring some of the BabsCon mascots. Written by our very own David Silver, uh, this will be a charity event. Um, so let me just like unpack that real quick. Uh, we've made our, BabsCon has made its very own uh, Dungeons and Dragons inspired RPG Same game. What? Um, and we are going to be, and just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say this because I know this is our plan, so hopefully this is still our plan. Um, but the games, uh, not only are we gonna have uh, awesome, have that actually play out at the convention, um, I believe we will also have the, uh, the book or the packet or whatever it's gonna be um, available both digitally and physically. Digitally will be an online thing, um, but physically will be a Babscon uh, exclusive thing uh, for at the convention. Um, so yeah, that'll be super exciting. And that's actually, that was one of the earlier projects that we had started working on because we needed the art for it, we needed to create the game, we need to think of new characters. Um, so if you're into the Babscon mascots, where well, we're introducing a new character, I wouldn't say they're like a mascot, but there's new characters involved. Um, so if you're really into the Babscon lore, check that out. Uh, and even if you're not, if you're into Dungeons and Dragons and, and, and that style of RPG gaming, um, please consider uh, donating to become part of the Josh Scorcher DM uh, Dungeons and Dragons adventure thing where we play that game. Um, and if you're just interested, uh, uh, when, when we have it available, um, download the online version and buy the digital version of Babs. Uh, download the online version, the digital version, or purchase the physical version at Babscon. Yeah. Yeah, no, it always does that. Okay. As long as it's going, okay. uh, it'll be fine. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Dusty Cat, okay, this is like, we're going beyond. Uh, Dusty Cat will be offering a lunchbox guitar build oh. uh, session for 10 lucky folks. Oh my goodness. I know, right? For $150 per person, all supplies, yes. and, all supplies and tools are provided. Um, so if you go to Dusty Cat's channel, you can see him making like My Little Pony lunchbox guitars. Uh, they're real guitars and they work. Uh, I believe they're I believe they're electric guitars. Um, so yep. Yep. please yep. check it out. Um, this is something new that we've never done before, um, and we're really excited to be offering that with Dusty Cat. Dusty Cat is awesome. Oh my god. The man is from local. Man is. Yep yep yep. He's crazy that he's local. Uh, another awesome uh, workshop that we're doing is. Clockwork Monster will be offering uh, Burke Buckram, Buckram hats and ears workshops on two days. The cost varies. The cost will vary depending on the materials. But basically, it's a like cat and ears workshop. So if you want to like get pony ears or like ears of some sort, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a uh, a furry thing. Um, please check it out. We'll have more information on that soon. Baron Engel is going to do a two-hour drawing workshop for a maximum of 10 people. All supplies will be provided. Uh, there will be no cost, but the tip jar will be out, so please be sure to tip. The Game Academy, which is one of our charities for this year, will be hosting a miniatures painting workshop. Uh, there will be no cost, but recommended $10 per participant to cover the cost of supplies. Uh, so that'll be really interesting if you if you're really into painting miniatures or if you want to get started this is an opportunity for you the martial bronies uh, will be offering a martial arts workshop and a dance and a dance workshop uh, each will be twenty dollars per person and pr and proceeds go to the charities um, that's great I know they did the um, martial arts last year but I don't know if, if dance is new or if they also did that last dance year. is new yeah dance is new that's exciting a special adventure for kids to be led by the children's programming with help from theatrics will happen on Saturday and Sunday and will be the first specialty event for children. It'll be $20 for each child, and I know there's parts of it where they like build things, they go off and go do like scavenger hunts and stuff. Um, it's, a, it's like a story adventure. It's, like a, it's, like a, it's almost like a LARP, yeah. um, but, uh, but for kids and, and you know, children. It's gonna be exciting. Uh, and of course, we'll have things to uh, to bring home from that too. So it'll be it'll, it'll be something that they'll never forget. 
Uh, once again this year, Fuzzy Logic Escape Room will be at the convention bringing two different escape rooms this year. Uh, I know what they do is they have, well, they're going to be in one room, but then they're going to have like room one. They're going to flip flip the room to do uh, different different options. So if you uh, if you go to the, so it'll give you two opportunities to do an escape room, uh, each of them unique. So it'll be super great. And last but not least, uh, the Drabble Dash form is live. Uh, a Drabble Dash is basically a, a short form writing contest. I believe it's 100 words? Yes. Yes. Uh, 100 words. So if you have a 100 word story, and there's different, we have different genres, different themes. Uh, so go to babscon.com. Uh, I believe, I believe the link is uh, r dot, bab, r, letter r dot babscon.com slash Drabble. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. So uh, go to that, or just go on our website and look for the Drabble Dash on the drop-down menu, um, and you can submit your 100-word composition. Uh, so we will be reading those out uh, on, on, I forget if we're gonna do it on the main stage or on the, on the panel room. Basically, we're gonna read them out until the midnight of, um, of Cyber Monday. So yeah. please, uh, please buy tickets. So midnight after Cyber Monday, don't even, did you say don't even buy it'll be, it'll be, it'll be available through midnight through Monday night. Through uh, when the clock turns 59 p.m. When the clock turns Tuesday, the sale will be over. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. When it is two, yeah. When it is Tuesday, no more sale. Okay. Thank you. And that is Pacific time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Golden well, Gate Standard Time. Golden Gate Standard Time. Yeah. I mean, East Coasters is. Good they get they get until three in the morning. Yeah, they get until three in the morning. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> I don't know time. <laughs> Let me think if there's anything else that I want to say. One thing, one thing you learn as a programmer is never write your own time library. I know. I was actually gonna say that. Like I worked at, at every company I worked at, we've always tried to do three things with time. And just like no, just use the built-in time stuff. Um, let me just double check. I don't pretty much everything. We actually had a lot. I had a lot of um, developers. I mean, we yeah. are what four and a half something months out. Yeah, that's good. So you know, if, if a department doesn't oh, have, have if a department <laughs> doesn't have like. Updates. Updates yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, to be fair, theme is basically running on 2016 schedule. Yeah, so, yeah. like, by the if we don't have something by the end of January, there won't be theme. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, um, Connor and I were just talking, okay. We're talking about that. Before. So, I think that might be. Being out with Cass, so. Because we're going to my phone. Everyone, leave your hands up so I can count you. Yeah, leave your hands up. Two, three, I guess it's ten people. You guys come to Max? Are you are you measuring before or after Max's? Uh, before. 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 Okay. Let me chill out for a bit. All right. So we have. Yeah, we can have a drink. I mean, um, I, I'm going to stay and help Max. All right. So, right. Thank you so much. Mostly because this has been. Be yeah, it's been. We're still live. Uh, this has been super fun. Thank you for putting up with the uh, the late starting of the live stream. Um, as we said, BabsCon staff are what make the con happen. Um, and the more the more staff that we have, the more friends you bring in to staff, uh, the better we will be. So please do that. Uh, in, a, in a way, you know, people, people think of conventions as like pillars that will always be there. Um, but the fact